Here we are, we're going to do a quick test showing the use of the um, ATP meter. Um, this is the typical ATP meter. Uh, switch it on, uh, off here, on, there we go, it runs for about 30 seconds. You do need to be careful if you've left a unit in the top there, it will go and show you that you've got a unit and you have to get it out with a little arrow at the bottom and uh, showing a little lid coming up and an arrow going out to say get out of here take it out. There's the button there. Uh, you may need to press the OK button a few times just to set the date depending on how recently you set the date with the battery in it or not. And voila, we're now ready to go and there's a little arrow there saying put the swab in. We're going to leave that there like that. That will shut down in a little while but hopefully that should be fine. Here is a Worst case scenario, there is our test swab. You can see it's actually got the liquid in there, the cotton bud in the bottom. And what we want to do is simply take that out with the cotton bud and just, you know, select anywhere on the thing. Rolling it round, you can see I'm rolling it round. Get a good coverage area. If the area is very dirty, don't use that because the dirt itself will block off the thing. So you can see that's still fairly clean. Okay. And then we put it back into the swab holder. So this is the swab holder there. And you can leave that like that for an hour or so without it affecting it. Once you crack the thing at the top okay and then you squeeze it down to make sure all the fluid goes down to the bottom and now you can see there's all the fluid moved from the top into the bottom and then you give it a good shake spinning it around at the same time and you can shake that for you know 30 seconds or so just to make sure it's really working well then we pop the lid open on this and we pop that in close that down and you can see there now it's saying that that is now ready to go we press the OK button holding it upright this one only has a 15 second countdown and I don't think I've cleaned it today so I'll do another quick test in a moment and we can get the number that's 771 <laughs> obviously I haven't cleaned it today <laughs> And I've probably not cleaned it for a couple of days. I've been making toast and other things like that on it. One of the things you can see here is you've got um, the little uh, lid showing up and the arrow showing get out of here. So there is still a unit in the top there and that's why it knows that that's there and needs to be taken out. So that's just to give you some indication. The little... little uh, Soft disk there means that you can save the data to uh, to your disk program. Probably should have let that dry a little bit more. It's only been drying for about three or four minutes. But we'll give it a go and see how it goes. So I'm just going to do the same here. Just give it a good coverage. It does, should really leave it till it's properly dried. But hopefully this will give a decent result. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's now back in its little thing, and our unit, pop that out, grab the previous one, Sorry, that over. so here we have the unit, and we're going to uh, crack that, and give that a good squeeze, so now we should be able to see all of the... Uh, liquid at the bottom there, give that a good shake, shake 
shake it around, shake it up and down like that. Make sure you get all of that onto the actual unit itself. And then we pop that in here. And that is now ready. And we press the OK button. And that's actually very good. So that's the sort of result. That's really a very, very good ideal result. Um, and all I did to clean that was just uh, I actually used some crystal foam from a nearby hand foaming unit and just gave it a bit of a scrub over with the brush and then wiped it all off with a tea towel to dry it down as much as I could quickly. Okay, I hope that gives you a good sense of what's happening, but uh, the only other thing I didn't show there was that I was making sure that because the swabs had came out of the fridge, I actually just tossed it in under my arm just to get it up to room temperature as quickly as possible. But you want it to be at room temperature or warm, you know, even hold it in your hand if you want to, um, you know, the, the blue end, um, and that will just uh, get, the, uh, get that liquid up to room temperature and as close to it or even a little bit above if you're in a cold room. Okay, hope that helps. Bye.